hello guys uh, welcome to the third installments of this uh, financial data analysis series and in this series we will discuss all about the pandas use case in python so we will see that how pandas is useful in financial data analysis we'll see that how to do the data manipulation data transformations kind of stuff because pandas is a very powerful library built on the top of numpy that provides a very high performance data structures and data analysis tools it is specifically designed for working with the label data and structured data so let's explore how pandas can revolutionize the financial data analysis with real world examples let's say that we have a kind of a uh, uh, data frame with these kind of dates stock names and these are the sector of those stocks and these are the price of those stocks and we want to like uh, do the uh, kind of uh, group by operation on these stocks by the sector so that we got to know that uh, uh, which sector uh, uh, stocks has uh, uh, more price and which stock sectors has the less price so that we just build a kind of uh, data frame here and then just do the df dot group by by sector and then we get the mean of the price so that we get to know that in the ai sector the stocks which are in the ai their mean price is 105.8 dollars and in the data science is 95 it is 103 retail is 85 so that in in that way we can do the group by operations and the next thing is doing the data cleaning or transformation kind of stuff we can do the uh, data cleaning like we can re remove such kind of values which are uh, nan or null or there is no values in those rows we can just do the df dot drop na or we can also impute those uh, kind of values which i also uh, do in my video of the machine learning i just put it in the i section here and uh, then we can start for the uh, data transformation like con conversions of columns extractions of columns like we can extract the information that are hidden in inside that uh, data we can extract those or we can build new columns as well so we can do all that kind of stuff in the data transformations kind of stuff so watch video link in description i just put that in description and for same as well i just put a uh, video link in description as well okay you can just watch those videos and uh, get to know about the data cleaning and data transformation stuff okay so the next thing is about the uh, like uh, do the aggregations kind of stuff or the time series kind of uh, data handling stuff as well the first thing you do is that do the uh, transform transform this column date column into the proper date time format column and then do the resampling by month this m means month on the column of date you can get to know that each month mean price so if i have like uh, uh, three four months of data here then it just show me three four rows because at the end of the each month so it just give me the kind of a monthly average price okay so the next thing we got to know know that the rolling window analysis so that the rolling window analysis just give me the rolling window price of the mean so let's just say it just give give me the mean of these two prices here then value of 2 here so it just start at the second row when you get a value of 3 or 4 or 5 or 6 it just calculate the ro rolling mean of those uh, rows in the previous section so let's just say if this rolling average is calculated by getting mean of these two values and this can be calculated by getting mean of these two values in that way if you just increase that value so that the mean of the values are also getting increases okay the next thing is about data visualization you can just uh, Uh, visualize the stocks by using the date time kind of a thing and then we get for the uh, pivot tables as well like i have a category column month column and sales column you want to make a pivot column as well was for that i know that the values that i have to take is for the sales column the index i want to choose is for the category column then the column that i want to choose is for the month column and what wh what i want to do i just want to do the sum function of all the values that i have okay it just do the um, make the index for the category column and all the columns for the month columns and in that way i get to know know that 
all about the sales that are happening between this month for a particular category this is the role of the mainly uh, pivot tables okay then we got to know about the data filtering and selection you just do the uh, like uh, using the uh, these greater than less than equal to kind of uh, uh, signs as well okay then we just for the daily return so it just uh, return the percentage change in the return that you get so that it just no know that this is your first day this is your second day so on the second second day this much percent is changed like your stock is minus 2.5 percent down in that way so in that way just uh, give you the percentage change in the uh, return column here okay the next thing is handling different different time zones as well so if you just you are you are in a very different time zone like us uk uh, or uh, very different time zones as well you can just change your date time column according to that time zone as well like i just uh, sh shipped from the uh, uh, ist to the utc here okay so yeah so these are the things that we cover in this video in the uh, pandas uh, use case in finance as well okay so in our next video we'll discuss about the uh, advanced use cases of numpy and panda pandas in the finance domain okay guys so just be with it and let's meet in the next video